entrepreneurship journey on YouTube. Today will be my, my first episode of this series that I'm bringing to my channel. As you all may know, or you may not know, that yesterday I launched my business. It's called www.shopdmore.com. Well, that's the website. My business is called DMR Apparel, so make sure you guys check it out. Um, today I'm just going to be packaging the orders I received from yesterday. Launch day was a success. I want to thank everybody who ordered something from me. I really, really, really appreciate it. And this is just the beginning, guys. I'm going to be having new arrivals coming soon. So yeah, I'm just so excited. Like, I'm super excited for this journey that I'm about to take while I'm taking so yeah if you want to keep on watching to see how i pack up my orders then keep on watching <laughs> also give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave a comment of course tell me if you like the video or not what else do you want to see from me and things like that but yeah let me just get into the video i don't want to talk y'all head off too much so i'm just gonna get into it also, if you like this outfit I have on, well, you can't really see the bottom. These are just biker shorts, but this is also from my website. I'm going to show y'all. It's just this set, some biker shorts with a little top like this. This is called the Get Active set. You guys, you can purchase this on my website as well. So yeah, click that link, y'all. Click that link and yeah. All right, I'm gonna get set up now to show y'all how. Okay, I so should. I just wanted to show you all my website before I get started into packaging these orders. Um, I did this all by myself, and I'm super proud of myself because it looks so nice. Y'all, make sure y'all check it out. It will be in the description box, like I said. But this is just a little preview for you all because I know my site is new. I literally launched yesterday, so this is what it looks like. So, yeah, that's my site, and you guys, make sure you sign up for my 10% off. Subscribe to my email list. All you have to do is literally type your email in, hit submit, and a code will be sent to your email to get 10% off of your first order. So, make sure you do that. Like, why wouldn't you do that? 10% off? Come on now. So, yeah, I'm about to just package up some orders. Um, I already packaged up some from earlier uh after i finished doing that i end up getting more orders which i'm super proud of myself and my boutique so far so yeah i'm just gonna go to my wix dashboard so this is the first order i have to do and she ordered the jungle fever dress so i'm just about to get that off the rack and package up so order. i just checked the wix dashboard to see what the orders were and someone ordered a medium jungle fever dress someone ordered a medium get active two piece set and then someone ordered a small keep it classy set um i'll just show you guys how i got my inventory i literally just have a rack um i just picked them from there i also have things on the bottom but i just picked the item that they ordered from here and then grab the bag okay, so now it's time to package these orders um i just grabbed the orders like i said and this is the first item so i always make sure i grab my business cards to put in the packages this is what it looks like i got one of those and then i grab a thank you card and this is what the thank you cards look like to put in the package i just get everything i need first before i package it up and yeah so I have a tag, you probably can't see this, I'm pretty sure you can't see that, but I have to put on the dress, so what I do is I just write the price on it. This dress was $35, so I'll just write the price she paid on the tag and then write the size, she got a medium, and then write the skew number of the dress. That's how I do my tags. So then I'll end up using my tag one to tag the tag on the item. And y'all will see that in a second. Alright y'all, so I'm about to put the tag on the dress. I have the tag gone through. Why is this not working? Y'all, my tag got a jam. That's crazy. Like, what am I doing? This doesn't even work anymore. Wow. Um, 
Okay, I'll be back after I fix it. Hey, you guys. So, I end up getting the tag on her item. Um, this is what it looks like with the tag. So, now I'm about to just package her order. I'm going to fold this how I want it to be in the bag. So, y'all notice that this didn't come with a clear bag to put it in. So, I bought some. I just bought some clear bags. So, it can look professional. So, I just folded the dress how I want it to be in the bag nice and neat you guys okay so this is it so y'all to package i put a thank you stickers i make sure i put one of these on the bags as well so this is it looks like this and i also y'all I put the size in on the bag as well so she ordered a medium so I have these stickers that I put on it and I just stick this in the corner just just because so this is what that looks like size M all right so I have my custom polymers you guys I end up ordering these off her sticker meal so I'll just put her order in the Holly Miller, of course. Put her order in Holly Miller. And then she gets um, a business card. It's my business card. And then she also gets a thank you for your order card. So I stick these in the bag. And also I printed out her um, invoice. So I end up folding this and sticking this in the bag as well so this is what it looks like like this my bags are so cute so now i'm just going to take the sticky adhesive all the back of the bag I end up folding it like that. It's all stuck nice and neat. And this is how the package looks. Now I'm about to print out her shipping label. So what I do, get on my laptop of course, and then I do create shipping label. So with this, with shipping, you have to weigh the package. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, or have a business that you know that. So just weigh her package, you guys. I have my scale. I'm about to, well, I zeroed it out already. I'm just gonna lay the package on it. It says 5.8. I'll zero it out again. I like to do this like 5.8, so 5.8 it is. Then I just convert that to the ounces to pounds. And I type that in to the computer. So 0.36. I have 0.36. And then it says the shipping label costs 321. So I'll just end up continuing to pay. And then print out her shipping. Guys, I use the Rolo printer for shipping. It's super easy and convenient so, on so. To the next order is literally the same process over and over have my order in the bag i'm just going to put the size on it and this was a size small size small so I have my sticker put the size On the third item which is the black get active two-piece set I already put the tag on as you can see so I'm just gonna put it in a clear bag got it right here same process over and over
y'all so the orders are completed i just finished my last order printed out the tracking label all of that so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and also don't forget to shop www.shopdmore.com there is more to come so stay tuned for that as well also turn on your post notification bell so you won't miss the upload i'll see you guys in my next one